Kia ora, good evening, I'm William Wairua. Uh, first of all, I just want to address the elephant in the room and uh, that's Izzy's not here. And uh, that's because he's sort of, you know, had a bad case of the hemorrhoids. So as part of uh, all of us are going to get together, Milsey, Gussie, Brinny and uh, Stannis, and we're really going to dedicate this show to you, Izzy. Let's kick off. Oh shit, you're going to rip that. Tonight on Kickoff, we go full glam. It's Fashion Week. Think bespoke clothing, catwalks, and did I mention a little guy named Stephen Adams, straight out of the house of Oklahoma. Nine All Blacks will strut their stuff in domestic rugby. They talk who and why. Forget the Gucci, Prada, and Dolce and Gabbana. We'll label the best and worst grounds in the country. As always, surprises, dad jokes, and some questionable chat. Let's kick it off. Good, uh, good evening, actually. Not good afternoon, you guys. Oh, <laughs> Almost messed up there, but we've got some new faces on. We've got some old faces back. I'm not talking about you, Mills. I'm talking about Angus. And as you've heard from our tease, this is all about fashion week. We're doing our own fashion show. And the memo was to wear your, your, your club colours. Angus, I think you failed. Mm. Well, I mean, we were told to express it in a, in a fashion week sort of way. So Auckland City... Nautical cities. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. City of sales. Are you tell a lucky, bro? Um, just recently re-signed for Auckland. Um, as well, sheep. Okay, we got it. Merino? Yeah, one of the first sheep factories um, when they first came back in 1806. <laughs> as so. sometimes happens in fashion shows, there can be wardrobe malfunctions, and we've already had one. <laughs> yeah, hence why the legs are crossed. <laughs> I put too much, uh, too much burst into my kicks there and I've ripped my, ripped my crotch. OK, well, <laughs> if you're wondering where some of our people are, as well, Dave, he is a noosa enjoying the sunshine. Carl Tanana will be coming on the show a little bit later on with some amazing guests, someone by the name of Stephen Adams, who's pretty cool. But let's take a look at what they're doing, how the professionals do it on the runway. This is them down at the Viaduct, modelling SUP2 for Stephen Adams Charity. Pretty awesome event. Chiselled. They're all very chiselled, aren't they? But I think, oh, Mills, your mm. face is a little bit more chiselled. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that, look, at the, look at the focus. You know what? <laughs> Stunts. I reckon you'd give them a run for their money, you Mills. You yeah. Do you want to give this a try? I reckon you should get up and do it. Let's go, Millsy. Get up. All of you guys. All, all of you. Get You're all on. Fill the face out a bit, you know. <laughs> Millsy. Get the plus size model. Oh. <laughs> oh. M2. <laughs> What's that? Shucks, man. Good start, Millsy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Whoa, serious, guys. Serious. Get a zoom in. Oh, no. Zoom in. No. Oh. <laughs> Cut. Oh, I'm done. I'm <laughs> done. I'm done with it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Oh. Well done. You nailed it. <laughs> well, someone here You're has right. a jockey modelling contract. Any yeah. guesses of who it actually is? Millsy, have they come out of retirement? <laughs> Angus. Be, be Angus is after on. That. <laughs> oh, you go through yeah. your moment, it's your moment, mate. Oh. Give, tell, tell us. Well, you've already had a wee bit of practice. Yeah. Well, Congratulations. I, mean, I don't know if I want to jump the gun. Um, <laughs> I don't know if it's... <laughs> 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 there you are, though. Oh, 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 this is what you're going to be wearing on Tuesday. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, they're looking for diversity. You know, um, <laughs> half cast fuller, a uh, bit, bit fuller, you know, the plus size range. So, I mean, I'm, I'm proud of what they're doing, you know. Oh, awesome. really... Hey, you're doing us proud. You're doing us yeah. proud. Well, it's story time with you. You've got a story to share with us. We want to hear it, and I hope it's a goodie. <laughs> well, um, I'm not one to blow my own sex. <laughs> <laughs> just but, your pants. Um, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, just your pants. Yeah. Um, I'm actually a bit of an offload specialist, and um, back in the day, uh, I used to play a bit of footy with Nuggy to tinny on Maui tournament. That's uh, Maori, Central Maori. So um, yeah, I was known for my offloads. I got one through the leg, and Nuggy went over. So. Oh, is that how the story is? Well, oh, here we go. Let's let's out the out. actual facts. Ah, mate. We love the facts. Get let's out let's here. verify the story. We've actually got a wee video from Aaron Smith straight from so Fielding. Like this. Uh, Willie Crib, my man. Hey. Uh, I heard you telling stories about your offload you gave me once um, for Tatini Maui, um, the Hurricanes Maldives team. Um, we played a really strong northern uh, northern team once in Topo, and uh, Willie was going to ground, and I was running the uh, positive line on the inside, 
and he dummied an offload, went to ground, reached his arms through this guy's legs and offloaded the ball to me. Um, I was quick then and I ran away and scored. But uh, still to this day, one of the best tries I've uh, been a part of and one of the best offloads I've seen. So to Will, um, you know, hey, thanks, mate. Thank you. <laughs> Wait <a while>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here you <laughs> <laughs> Brenner, catch that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was just seeing what ended. Yeah, oh, really? Through the yeah. Great story. I sort of don't want to sort of say anything. Uh, you know, I sort of let by action. I usually go by action, inspired by action. But. OK. Well, plenty of guys that are going by action this weekend. Nine All Blacks have been released to play in the Mighty Ten Cup. We've got the list. There's plenty of them. Rico Ioane, Brad Weber, who's just lined up. Liam Coltman, Josh Ioane, Vaya Fafida, Brayden Eno, Atu Mowley, Jackson Hemaport and Luke Jacobson. What's this all about, Mills? Oh, just to get game time. Oh, I think the one person that I'd really like to see carve it up and get his mojo back is Rico Ioane. Just mm. nice <coughs> dry track when they play Bay of Plenty and absolutely carve it up and just, as I said, get his mojo back. You're Auckland, so I assume you want to see the same. Is there anyone else on that list that you want to see out there just have a field day? Oh, I mean, uh, I'm my little mate Spud there, Brad Weber, over here got a meat pie, so uh, being, being a Chiefs man, you know, it's always good to, to see him out there and, and having a crack. You get one back for Manama too as well, Will. You've got Jackson Hemawhor. Yeah, good definitely. Addition. Yeah, it's good to see Jacko in there. And, um, like, the turbos will need him this week. Um, <laughs> Clarapa gets a strong Tasman team, eh? So, yeah, they're going to need, they're gonna need him. Yeah. We'll get into that a little bit later. Let's take a look at your weekend, though, because there's a lot of domestic rugby on and a wee little hint of some international rugby as well. So what have we got? This is your schedule and how it's lining up. Wellington taking on Canterbury. <coughs> That's Friday night at the Cankton. Super Saturday, it is the Marco taking on the Turbos. Auckland up against Bay of Plenty. And then we will be live from Counties Monaco. They're taking on Waikato. And there'll be some very cute, fluffy dogs. So make sure you check that out. Same day afternoon, Taranaki against the Tanifa and Southland. Well, they round out the weekend. There's also some internationals, though, of course, they are all building up to that Rugby World Cup. It's Scotland against France and Murrayfield and England against Ireland at Twickenham. But, Mills, the one team that stands out there, we have to talk about them down in the deep south. It's your team, Southland. When are they going to get their first win in a few years? Well, Do you need to lace up the boots, maybe? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, if Bryn wasn't here tonight, I would say this weekend. <laughs> but no, no, yes. I'm going to keep very quiet. No, they're, they're betting a little bit. Um, it'll come, it'll come. They're showing some good signs, but uh, perhaps not this weekend, Bryn. Oh, I think, yeah, it's obviously a tough... Tough and County always going down there. It's actually a real... That's not point. what you said. Yeah, the green you room. Room. Oh, That's green room, not what you said before. I think it's going to be a tough challenge for us. It's always tough. It's supposed to be like 9 or 8 degrees, so our boys don't usually play in that kind of weather climate. So Negative, gonna... mate, negative. Well, oh, hopefully not, but it's always tough to go down there. I mean, it's a great place to go to. Seafood galore. If you like the cold. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what else? The velodrome, Tim Shadbolt. Jimmy's pies. Jimmy's pies, there you go. A few things. Pies. Good bones are down there. Bluffy, a few bluffies. Yeah, a few oysters. A few bluffies. Yeah. Okay. Aphrodisiacs. <laughs> Deep fried, <laughs> eh? Or just. What about out? these guys at Wellington <laughs> taking on Canterbury? At the moment, it's at Westpac Stadium. But by the time next year rolls around, I don't know if you saw the memo today, but well, Sky has just purchased the rights to the stadium. So it will oh, now yeah. be yeah. Sky oh, Stadium. Oh, Sky. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. But I mean, what's Wellington Stadium like to play at Mills? But Wendy? Is it one of the, the tougher places it, it to play? It can be, but now that it's called Sky Stadium, the wind's going to disappear. <laughs> there you go. There you go. If that's a tricky place to play, where's some of the best places to play, Angus? Well, I, I don't like to admit it, but uh, definitely Forsyth Bar Stadium. Uh, they got the zoo. Uh, they got the DJ in there. And sometimes, like, you might be on the field and you might just be a little bit of bang, bang. But, oh, whoa, whoa. It's like, settle down, got a game to play. But the vibe down there... Harder when you're on the bench to listen to that, eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been on that. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been into the zoo a few times? Nah, it's, it's, on a, it's a bucket list thing. And it's always dry there. You always know what you're going to get. Nice, mm. fast pitch. Yeah. Great place. For you, Brad, favourite place to play and worst place in the country? I'm just going to go worst. And it's actually the place where we're going down to. Oh, so, yeah. Oh, no, no disrespect to Chicago and our Southland fans, but... Look, it's a tough, um, it's tough there. Their fans really get into us, so no doubt we'll be getting that come Sunday afternoon. You sorry, played, Mil sorry, Mil you played it a few grounds in your time, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, I played at the Cape Town. Yep. Um, would have been, what, 04 against Wellington College. 
Uh, we lost. Oh no, it was a draw. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's Good a climate. Really windy. Climate. Yeah. <laughs> Picking conditions are really hard. Mm. Off okay. Tea, so. <laughs> Well, we're going to talk about this game and we're going to go and talk about their props because, man, the, the front three... The free? <laughs> free? Free? The front free drinks, three. Free drinks for everyone. The front three that these guys have. They are unbelievable, Angus. Scoring a few tries like you do. Oh, yeah, I've, I've scored a couple in my time, probably. <laughs> not, not as razzy as these guys, but, I mean, you, you look at the athleticism. You know, Safa Amor, he's, he's always done that. These guys um, are burning wingers. I know, and, and they've got this... Look at that. Look at the skills. Switching hands, probably putting a few fins out. Defence optional. Um, <laughs> obviously, yeah, hey, Corey James, the defence coach, and he—I think he's a yeah. bit upset. He's not on the show tonight to, to defend himself. Yeah, um, probably, probably a bit of a stitch up there. But the, I think the boys were just excited, like, "Whoa, he's looking! He look, man, he looks razzly. Um, have a try!" And they, they were pumped up. You know, the big chest pump. So yeah. good mm. on them. When you talk about razzly, you've got to talk about Vi Fafita. He's lining up for them. He's going to do mm. some damage in the number six jersey. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you're looking forward to it. Too. He hasn't played in a couple of weeks. So uh, when you talk about Razzle. Was he the one that jumped over someone? No. He's yeah, he does. No, he does. Yeah. Yeah. Illegal or yeah. Francis? So there you go. Illegal. Illegal? Eh? Why? If, if on, Pierce mate. doesn't dip, you get a boot to the face, that's red card. Gone. Thanks for coming. But Razzle shoulder. <laughs> Razzle shoulder. Felt that a few times. Not nice. <laughs> this is going to be a tough game because both of these two teams, they're in pretty similar positions. They have struggled a bit this year. Canterbury, unlike mm. them, they have lost two games for the yep. first time since, I think, about 1996. They've got a good pivot in there. Brett Cameron, yep. what do you think he needs to do for this side? No, I think Brett, obviously, they would obviously would have a, a better start. But I think for the best part about coming back to Modern Cup is that he's the pivot and he's the, the number 10 there who, who runs the show. So... Look, it wouldn't be with the start that they want, but again, they've obviously got Braden Enor coming back as well, who um, obviously had a great debut the other week and gets to come back and uh, get a bit of game time. So I'm uh, pretty started the season pretty well, and no doubt he'll be wanting to continue uh, to get back to that form where he was at Orbeck last year. Yeah, you talk about it, Braden Enor comes back. They do have some very, very mm. good players, so it will be a good matchup. Let's cut live now to the Viaduct. We've got Carlton Anna standing by with probably the tallest man in New Zealand, Stephen Adams. Yeah, thanks, Kirsty. Instead of being with you B-listers, I've got the A-listers hanging out with the man, Stephen Adams, bro. Thanks for um, joining me. Jeez, I need a box breather. What's going on? No, just small, mate. That's all it is. <laughs> no, just tell me, you've been doing your camps around uh, down south and in, uh, in Nathan, you're going up north. How have those been going, bro? Oh, they're really, really good. We had a really good response uh, because we managed to make the camps free this year, which kids love. They get to come in, have fun. and Yeah, it was, it was a different sort of feel, especially in Napier. It kind of hit home a little bit more. Uh, for some reason, you know, which was, I don't know, it meant something different. Awesome, bro. And, and now you've got this uh, fundraiser for your, for, for your foundations. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, so basically just trying to generate more funds so we could do things like make the camps for free and then also try and help fund uh, Tukaha, which is, you know, they, they do an amazing job, man. Go around to all these schools um, and just try and teach some, you know, some life skills and some values. So just stuff like that that we have planned, man, trying to help the babies of New Zealand, you know. So it all, it all tries to find that. How come I didn't get an invite to one of the camps? What do you mean, <laughs> mate? You're too horrid. <laughs> no, okay, no, no, I'm making my debut on the, uh, on the catwalk. Have you got any advice for me? Just don't trip up, brother. Just don't, <laughs> don't, don't, don't up. fall over, bro. Just don't fall over. I'm, I'm only doing it because of you. What's it? Walking down? Yeah, I'm, I'm only doing the modelling because it's just impress you, brother. I'm not sure if you're being serious, mate. Like, it's, if I see you up there, I'm going, what the hell? Well, uh, no, that's all good. Now, just, now just tell me, one more thing. Um, <clears throat> there's um, some charity auctions going on. Yeah. Um, can I use my flybys or hot points? Absolutely. Honestly, mate, whatever works. Whatever you want. From you, mate, anything, mate. Anything. It's all good. <laughs> By the way, why don't you accept me on the face snap or Insta, Insta tweet or whatever it's called? For my yes. friend request. You can, you can see why, hey? You, you guys can see why? You can see why. See why, mate. That's why. Hanging out with the big bro. We'll see you guys real soon. Thanks very much for your work. We'll cross over to you a little bit later on with some more superstar guests and when you're on the catwalk of your own. How do you reckon Stephen Adams would go on a catwalk? Well, I think, well, man, Long quite tall. And um, <laughs> to be honest, I've actually been mistaken for him a few times. <laughs> I win the, hair, win the hair's down. What, Carl Tanana? Come on, man. Too boring. Same white shirt as well. <laughs> 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 
So, no, nah, but yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think it'd go really well. I think the stride would be too stride to be at the end. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> too short. Yeah, there wouldn't be anything that. long enough for him. Okay, we move on to the next game, and it is Tasman taking on Manawatu in Blenheim. That is Saturday from 2.35. Good old afternoon football. Who doesn't love that? That's the best part about the Mitre 10 Cup. But Tasman, I don't know how they've stayed in the salary cap. They are stagged, oh. especially in the forwards, Will. Yeah, well, their forwards are really good. I just want to get... Gussie, can I just get yeah, up for a sec? Just right over Boys, here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Boys from Manawatu are going to have to do a lot of this um, come game time. <laughs> what I've been showing from you, yeah, like, down, mate, get in the position, I'll get the ball there. A sort of crevice. Um, oh. Hopefully the boys can, uh, what I've been told is get the smalls to the ball. <laughs> Be uh, careful of the pants. Yeah, I know, it's already in there, but get the smalls <laughs> to the ball. It's looking at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what we want to do here is just get down low position. Can I just get you up there, Brilliant. Just locating any um, threats. Definitely not a threat. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so if they can get in those positions real down low, uh, it'll be perfect. My um, uncle actually <laughs> wasn't so small, so he sort of had to stand from this, you know, for you know. Yeah. <laughs> and just with, come on, mate, you're better than that. <laughs> you're on a long place, mate, you're better yeah. than that. Oh, you got on it quick, you know. Precious cargo, take, yeah. it, take a seat. <laughs> Shouldn't have better than that. In seriousness, though, <laughs> it has been horrific weather in Palmerston North at mm. your home ground. What's been going on the first couple of weeks of the Mighty Ten Cup? It's been soggy. Yeah, look at that. I, those are the games when I used to play. I, I was injured. Whenever, whenever <laughs> I trained, I said, oh, poor oh. Uh, injuries used to yeah, hurt, yeah, hamper me. Weather like that. Mills? Oh, the buckets, uh, they come in handy, eh? Oh. The, the buckets oh. come in handy on, in, in <laughs> conditions like that, doesn't it? So Buckets and scuba gear. Wow. I mean, some of the, the coldest games some of them have, have said they've ever played. You've seen the halfbacks jumping around at scrum time. Big boys no dramas, though. They get to hug each other. <laughs> 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 Yeah, they should wear these on the field as well. <laughs> <laughs> the latest headgear, is it? Yeah, the new the helmets. Headgear, well, yeah. Try it on, Angus. Does it fit? Oh, uh, no. Nah, <laughs> nah, try it on, try it on. I won't. Try it on, try it on. <laughs> <laughs> Get this thing. Get out of here. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I said we had some superstars coming up. I don't know who's bigger on the show, but our social media status, well, it's got a wee bit of cred because this next guy has over a million followers. Israel Adesanya and Dan Hooker. They're joining Carl Tanana. Yeah, thanks, team. I'm here with two legends. We've got the style band, we've got the hangman. Now, boys, um, at the charity event, you guys aren't getting up and doing any of the, uh, the modelling. What's going on? For, they can't afford me for Fashion Week anymore, so I, uh, I retired. Can't afford, eh? I retired. <laughs> Honest. Humble, humble, though. Humble. Uh, humble, but you're looking good, eh? Hey, hey, Dan. Thanks. Yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is the most humble as he's been. <laughs> hey, I got, I'm all or nothing, mate. <laughs> Tonight is nothing. <laughs> but but a, big, a big announcement for you getting on the card for the big fight. I mean, um, yeah, yeah, Ally yeah. Quinter. I mean, how good's that? Yeah, number six in the world. Can't yeah. wait. Get in there, show what I got. Especially after the last one in Texas. I mean, to step up to that mean. Yeah, but I have. So, when you knock out, three first round knockouts in the last four. So, you get what you want when you do that. <laughs> you get knocked out. Now, we've got the style being They're going for the title, the interim champ at the minute, but the, the, it's the gold. It's, it's, it's the champs you want, eh? Uh, one of them, definitely, yeah. Uh, it's been on the list, you know. But I'm looking for moments. I'm looking for tough opposition like Robert. So, that's that's the real goal, kicking his ass in his own country. <laughs> oh, man, it's getting a bit hot in here, Brios. But, I mean, how... <laughs> <laughs> but how cool is it to have like you two guys from this um, same gym in Auckland and being on the world stage like this? Pretty mean. It's beautiful. I mean, we're here for a good cause to support Stephen Adams, yeah. who I met when he was 13 and still way taller than me. So it'd be good to see him again, and he'll still be taller than me. Do you reckon he could get his foot up to Stephen Adams's? Easy. <laughs> I want to sit over here, teach that boy one punch. I'll, I'll make him world champ. Let's Game go. over. Let's go. I'll make him world champ. No, I know it's a rugby show. Do, do you boys follow the Mighty Ten Cup at all? Did you follow your, your hometowns? No, I used to play when I was growing up. But what if position? The people aren't getting punched. I, I tend to not watch it anymore. <laughs> They, 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 they made it a bit, um, you know, how, how should we it's say? A bit PC. It's a bit PC. What, what position were you, brother? Uh, me, I'm a bit of a random. I went from wing and then I played flanker. And then... Fast guy, eh? One of the fast guys, eh? Hey. For me, I just. Uh, yeah, all the rugby. Yeah, no, I learned what a hospital pass was <laughs> about. Dan, give it to no, me. No, no, no. Two years ago, I learned, oh, that's what that was. Because all through lunchtime in high school, I used to get those a lot. So I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, out, yeah. I'm out. <laughs> so now I know what hospital pass is, oh. and yeah, maybe tough though. I mean, come on, can't kick my ass. <laughs> Try, try. So, so can we just say, can we say um, thanks for the team at the kickoff? Kickoff. Uh, is that what we're gonna say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. All right, thanks for the team at the kickoff. 
Thanks for the team of the kickoff. No thanks to the team from the kickoff. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> thanks to you guys. Thanks, KT. You're not off the hook yet. We'll be coming back He's to you changed. a little bit later on. No respect. He's uh, changed, hey, KT. Ezra Adesanya, Stephen Adams. Who's bigger? They're both pretty big dogs. Ooh. Yeah. Well, I think getting, probably Stephen Adams gets paid a bit more. Getting 25 mil a year, I mean, yeah. secured the bag. Have you thrown a few hospital passes in your time? No, nah, I've got... No? Shut. Straight to the, on the money. Though. On the money. <laughs> I've received a few puzzles from Brent. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, licorice all sorts up here, <laughs> down there. The odd one, yeah. <laughs> OK. Well, let's talk about jelly beans now. No, not jelly beans, Jaffers, because we're talking about Auckland going up against Bay of Plenty. That's this weekend as well, Saturday, from 5 o'clock at Eden Park. Me and you, <laughs> head to head. Yeah. Yeah. This is my uh, yeah, you're confused okay, about your colours right now, but yeah. let's rock, paper, scissors it out. One game. Who wins yeah. this? Wins the game. <laughs> yeah, okay, ready? Okay, ready? Paper, paper, paper. Yes! Ah. Oh. The bomb. Go yeah. the bay. Oh. Go the bay. <laughs> nah, but that doesn't really count, does it? <laughs> <laughs> let's take a look at the Auckland midfield mills because these guys, they are big, they're good. TJ Fayani, Taniella Talia, very good, aren't they? And they're experienced now. Another year under their belt in terms of Super Rugby as well. So, TJ, the captain. Uh, he really led well last year, Angus, and, uh, and continues to do that, that uh, this year again. I mean, he's he's Mr. Consistent. You know, he does his role beautifully, and, and he's got great morale with the boys. So, um, excited to see Reeks uh, turn up, and you know, Bop's had a, a couple of great wins. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting to see, you know, a couple of big boppers. You got the turbos, <laughs> nice. the steamers, nice. the Marco. Does Auckland have a nickname? Uh, the Seagulls. <laughs> <laughs> Make it stick. No. No, I think it's uh, Auckland last year's champions. Um, no. Oh, no. Uh, were you even there yeah, last year? Yeah, you were you last year. Yeah, but mate, I'm... Um, Where were you last year? Mate, I love Taranaki. <laughs> <laughs> we won it 2014, so best of both worlds. Humble? <clears throat> mm. Brenna, have you won it? Or? <laughs> oh. Oh. Just, just see rugby titles. <laughs> oh. Show us your tattoos. <laughs> Show us your tattoos. Hey, just, just return the favour. Humble, eh? Right? Humble. <laughs> just return the favour. Okay, favorite. well, we're going to talk fullbacks <laughs> now because we're going to talk Chase Tia Tia. Great in Super Rugby this season, carving up for the Bay now, Mills. Oh, he's been carving up for a Mighty Cup the last couple of years. He had got an opportunity as well uh, with the Canes, a uh, couple of games at the back there. But what I love about this guy is just he just goes out there and just and plays what he sees. You know, he's got a bit of X Factor as well. Um, and this sort of stuff here, you know, just um, off the cuff, but skill execution, fantastic. I think the best thing about with Bay as well, obviously with Mike Delaney coming on board as well, um, it's been a bit of How time. How good? With, yeah, it's been a bit of time with the Crusaders, and I could just see that the way that obviously he's so he's stolen all your players. Place. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's pretty much taken all the Crusaders players from his time there. But <laughs> getting sick of your Crusaders, <laughs> <laughs> that's enough. So you know how I just beat Harbour. Angus at Papers as well, which means Bay of Plenty are going to win this week. Yes. If they beat Auckland, will they get promoted? Do you think? Are they going to win that championship? Well, I'll, I'll tell you what, Kirsty, they've been pretty impressive. So I think it's going to be a great, um, great way that you know they're going to be able to go. So if they can. Taranaki's down there, so <laughs> they'll be steaming right back up into the Premiership. <laughs> Stop talking about steaming if it's not the Bay of Plenty. Oh, get, up, nice. get up, get up, Bay, get up. Okay, nice. <laughs> let's go back down to the Viaduct. Let's go to Carl Tanana, who is on the catwalk. He finally gets his chance to shine. So how are you doing, KT? Where is he? Where is he? He's amongst... This is the real model. <laughs> oh, 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 is that oh, white okay. Corpu, who's got the guns out? Oh, oh, look at that. Uh, what are you doing? He's the current thing. The yellows? <laughs> the yellows? <laughs> I know you used to Well, I know we had style bender on there, but I don't know about that yeah, style. I just, I just saw Bender. <laughs> <laughs> ender. Ender this. Ender, yeah. ender that segment. A rating? Yeah. How did he do? Not, yeah. not great? Negatives. OK, OK. Well, we're going on to our very last game. It is Counties Monaco taking on Waikato from Pukekohe mm. on Saturday. And we're talking mm. mascots. We're talking about their mascots. Steely Dan. Mm. They're the Steelers because of the steel factory. Is he a bit scary? What do you think of him? Well, I think for some kids, maybe, but I think oh. you know he's obviously got a, he's obviously got a big head, just like Gus yeah. as well. Yeah. So he doesn't have a neck, um, though. I've got a little he's bit got of a neck, pretty big so. head. So, um, but no, look, he's been around for years. So I think loyalty was, you know, I think the county's sort of your facial, though, so, Bryn. It's sort of <laughs> quite a weird mix. Got a isn't big it? head, Gus yeah. Bass. There it is, County's Monaco yeah. taking on Michael. Best mascot in the country. What is it? What's yours, Mills? Um, the Mulu. You reckon? Mulu's the best, and the stag, mm. and the seagull. And Captain Hurricane? The oh, no, Sorry, he's the... He's, he's, he's just saying yeah, every, every, every... And Lemmy, mascot, Larry yeah. the Lamb from, from Canterbury. There you Larry go. the Lamb. Yeah, he's not bad. He's Harry not the bad. dog hey? from North Harbour. What about you, Will? Best turbo mascot? Then, definitely. Oh, oh you like Turbo. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. engages quite well with the crowd as well, and that's a major factor when you're trying to get everybody up is just engagement. So um, he's really fantastic. Large, oh. large mandible as well. Mm. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming on. Thanks, Angus. Thanks, Will. Thanks, you, Bryn. Good luck this weekend. Thank Thanks, Mills. And stay safe down in Invercargill. We'll see you next Ooh. week.
All right, guys, seeing it's Suck and Friday tomorrow, gonna teach you guys a quick dance. Bang, we rock the hands there and just, <laughs> just feel the flow. There it is. <laughs> Brenna, don't do that ever again. I told you, bro. Oh my god. Is that fun? We can all do that. That's funny, her sword.